Hi everyone, it's Crystal. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download a free font, install it onto your computer, so you're able to use it in your Silhouette Studio software. So I'm basically doing this video for a lady I'm talking to on Facebook. She's having a little bit of a problem with downloading the font and getting it to work into her um, so her software. So Alicia, this video is for you. It should hopefully this video should only be like five minutes or under, but because I am running another software to record this from my computer, it does make my computer run a little bit slow. So I apologize for that in advance. Okay, so I am at defont.com and I already have the um, font that I want to download. So <clears throat> I'm already on that screen. And the only thing I have to do at this point is just click the download button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when I do that, I'm one running Windows 8 on my computer, and it just brings this little bar up down to the bottom of my screen. And as you can see right here, it says Walt Disney Zip. Um, all fonts are downloaded into a zip file, and you have I extract them and then install them onto my computer. So from here, at this part, you see this little arrow right here. I left click once on there, and then I go to Show in Folder. So this is just what I do. Um, you know, there might be another way of doing it, but this is just the easiest way for me. So I brought up my download folder, and as you can see at the very top of it, it's my font I want to download is right here. So at this point, it's already highlighted. What I want to do is right click on it, and I want to go over here to extract all. Now I do that, it's going to bring me up another screen, and in this screen right here, this is going to show me where this file is going to be extracted to. So it's going to be extracted to the same folder that I'm currently in, which is fine with me. It, this, at this point here, if you want to change where you want those files to go to, you would hit Browse and then go ahead and um, select that folder. But this is fine for me right here. So I'm going to hit Extract, and it's done. It's already extracted. So now I just have to find it in this folder here, and it should be down at the bottom, close to the bottom. Alright, so right here is where my extracted file is. I just want to go ahead and double click on that one. And then this brings me up to um, another folder where um, here is the license information, another thing. And right here is the two fonts that it downloaded. Um, you can tell they're fonts because there's little A over here. And then if you hover over it says open type font file. So that's how you're able to tell. So at this point I go ahead and I double click on the first one. And it's going to bring me up the screen right here. Now this is the screen, Alicia, that you were talking to me about saying um, all it's bringing up is that quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It says this for all fonts that you download. So if you look up here in the upper left hand corner, there's a print option and an install option. Go ahead and click install. And when you do that, it brings up this other box. And once it's done installing, that box just automatically disappears. Well, at least on my computer it does. So I'm going to go ahead and install this other one as well. Same process. Double click on that. It brings you up to another one. And just click on the install button. Once it's done installing, that box disappears. And there you have it. Your fonts are now installed on your computer and ready to use. So at this point here, I want to go ahead and I want to open up um, my Silhouette Studio software. So I went ahead and I'm opening that up now. Now, like I said, this is going to take a few minutes for this to work right because I'm recording this video. But <clears throat> when you're downloading the, these fonts, you want to try to make sure your software is, your, um, your Silhouette software is currently closed. Um, and then install your fonts and then open up your software. If you install the fonts while your software is open, <clears throat> what you'll have to do is shut down your software and reopen it back up. So, like I said, this is just going to take a few minutes here, a few seconds. If I wasn't running this software, it would already be up by now, but, you know, it is what it is. So I really hope this video helps somebody out. Um, in this video, even if you're not using... It's for you know your Silhouette Studio software, any other software. You follow the same the steps as I had just done, and that's how you get fonts onto your computer. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for it to finish thinking here. 
Okay. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to do now, since my software is open, I like to click on my mat, and then I go over here to the left-hand screen over here, and I want to click on the text box, which is that little box right here that has the A on it. So click on that, and then click on your mat, and then I'm just going to type my name out. And then what I do here is I just highlight my name, go over here to the text style, style box, I double click on it, and then I'm going to look for the Walt, Waltograph or whatever it's called. So I'm just going to start typing W-A-L, there we go, and it brings it automatically up for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and as you see here, it went ahead and it, um, put that font on there for me. Um, and then at this point you can just do your regular um, editing that you have to do. But that is it. That's how I download fonts and to my computer computer that I'm able to use on my Silhouette software or actually any other software that I'm running on my computer. So like I said, I really hope this video helps you out, Alicia. Um, if you still have any more questions, please don't hesitate to send me another message on Facebook. It's no problem at all. Um, but until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.